Good morning, guys. What is up? Welcome to another episode of Motorfields. I'm Rob Hamilton. Damn, it's cold. It's about 11 degrees. It's like 9 in the morning, and we're heading to the cafe to meet up with Nick because Nick is an excited boy today, and ooh, you'll find out why. So where is this place? It's like around here somewhere. I'm gonna just park in here. This looks like a... Does this look like a bike? That's a bike. That wouldn't be... He wouldn't be riding that though. Not the Royal Enfield. <laughs> I don't know where this joint is. Hey, let me check my phone. Maybe I'll fully went right past it. Who knows? Cool, is right. I'm gonna park right in front though. Sang. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. The place is like right there. <laughs> ah, is that in behind me? There it is. Hopefully I can do a left, left, left. Ah, there he is. It is him. <laughs> yeah, good. You can do it left, left, left. See, he's Canadian. He doesn't wear like thermals or anything like that. He's used to the cold. Me, man, I feel it. I've got a thermals rocking. I'm rocking like everything. Everything. Hey, Lord. How's it going? I'm in the awkward phase right now. You know the awkward phase of where it's not long enough, but it's too long? Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Is that an apple? Is That's that an apple. apple. That's an apple. Ah. Uh, like Tingle. waking up my mouth. Wake up! Wake up! All right, so Nick's been pretty excited these past couple of weeks. Although he's been up and down, really. It's been it's been pretty chaotic um, by the sounds of things. But basically, he sold his Jeep. At least we had like a cool little send off for him. Like, it. Like that was we used it. Yeah, we went off roading. If you haven't seen last week's vid, I'll link it up here. Check it out. It's uh, it was just some sick off roading session, like just in mud and just getting amongst it with the boys. It was sick. But he sold it. And I was like, what the hell, man? What the heck? Oh, here comes our food. Oh, that is mine. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. So just quickly. Just quickly. Just quickly. I dig it. Give us, give us the rundown. I saw this car down in Auburn that I really like. I just did like a PSA. Like I posted in one of the one of the groups for the car. Yeah. And I was like, if anyone's selling this, like shoot me a message. And this one dude just messaged me randomly. And he's just like, hey, bro, like I got this. Like it's pretty budget friendly, but let me know what you think. Two hours later. Anyways, long story short, as my stories are always long, <laughs> I find a, a rep from New South Wales um, Health, and he's like, yeah man, as of five o'clock this morning, you can get out of Victoria, but you'll get slapped with two weeks quarantine. And I'm like, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen, bro. So, set up transport, did all that, and then, here we are. Here we are. We're gonna eat this and then uh, we're gonna ride. He's gonna drop a bike off to Triumph. I need to sign a lease and then we'll meet you back on the bike because we're gonna pillion. He's gonna pillion. So scared. It's gonna be so hectic. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, I think she wants to race us. Yeah. It's on. Here we go, eh? Here we go. <laughs> oh, she's off the line. Off the line. She got smoked. Oh. Hello, ladies. Holy crap. <laughs> Just some bread and newies, eh? Uh, which one's mine? Which one are we taking home? Ha <laughs> ha. So, Nick has never ridden pillion and we're doing it here on this so uh this might be the reason um i get new shocks who knows how much do you weigh 120 kilos 120 kilos i weigh 78 there's a lot of kilos of these thing i might need new tires as well <laughs> oh this is gonna be insanely good Alrighty, so this <laughs> so that's me on it the travel <laughs> Just hop on, baby. Oh, shiza, I felt that. Holy Yo. crap. Holy crap. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't have much further to go. So we call this riding dicks, D-I-X, for those at home. I don't know why every time I say dicks, 
a, um, a chicken interrupts. Say it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have my headphones. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Um, yes, yeah, so that was like, that was Nick's first time as a pillion. He said it was the most sketchy thing he's ever done in his life. That's a plus. That's a plus for him. Uh, so we're here. We're here. We made it safe. So there's like 200 kilos combined weight on the bike. And ooh, I felt the suspension. I felt the suspension. I felt the lack of power. So if you weigh 200 kilos and you want to get a strict scrambler, hmm, maybe. Put 120 <laughs> kilo do on the back of it. <laughs> that was so hectic. So Every time he like moved his head or just like moved his massive arms. <laughs> <laughs> Literally felt the bike just. Ugh. You did good, man. You did good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, bro. Yeah, you You're did good. You did good. What's the hitch? Oh, they're just gonna go get the car. Sick. Bring it up. So they're gonna bring it around for you. She's like, I'm like, can I go get it? She's like, yeah, if you want to try fighting it through 3,000 cars, and I'm like, holy crap. Oh, yeah, nah. What should I do? How should I do this? Should I just get like a reaction of you I first? Th I, th I think the car is gonna come through. It's gonna here. come through like this. It's gonna right there. Ah. Yeah. Our mate over here is gonna bring it out. Yeah, am I just like. And we'll just be like, we'll just be, yeah, fully A. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> it goes in a sick B roll and yeah, slow mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I like it. It's like right. dubstep music. <laughs> yeah. um, what do you do on this Arvid? So, if you want to, like, we can go, we'll go back to yours or whatever. Yeah. And then um, you can, you know, make sweet love to, to your new car. Yeah, I thought I was going to make sweet love to it in the wash bay. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. wash. So do that, and then I'll meet up with my mate, and then, like, later on this, after wanna this shoot? afternoon, we could just do a mad at um the boat ramp. Yeah, yeah we'll do it. Yeah, yeah. like, we'll just do, like, a just a cool little hang shoot vibe thing. Yeah, I reckon that'd be pretty cool. So, I'm all looking. Turn around, turn around. I'm all looking. <laughs> uh, he's right behind you, man. Should I turn around? Yeah, just turn around. A little frog. Oh, shit! <laughs> Instagram photos are going to make this thing look so good. Oh, first passenger. Oh, crap. Oh, it's, a, it's a squishy. Oh, crap. How do I... How the heck do I... Do I it? oh. Bro, it's on the right side. It's automatic. Oh, it's on the right Luxury, side. Luxury, bro. Oh. Luxury. Ooh. Yes. Luxurious. Ah, it's coming back. You just sitting on... There's oh. junk is in here, too. Ah, there we go. Ah. Man, this is gnarly. Huchima. Smells real good. 370Z, eh? Hello, look. Dude, you want to buy the car? You suit it. You got that leather jacket on, dog. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go for a. Let's get out of here. Let me get out of here. Let's roll, bro. Let's roll. Let's, let's get roll. out. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> Well, Nick is stoked. He's sorting out his tunes in there now. But dams, man, 370Z, 2009. <sighs> Good old times, hey? I used to have a Skyline back in the day. <laughs> back in the day, the Skyline boys, man. He's looking for his auxiliary plug. New car vibes, hey? New car feels. You know when you buy a new car, you don't know how to work anything? He literally had to what, look at a YouTube video to see how to open up the boot of the trunk. <laughs> another YouTube video, man. Just watch another YouTube vid. Uh, I'm going to bring the bike over. This is gonna feel so much better now that he's not on the back. I've taken another 120 kilos. I can't believe there's 120 kilos on the back. <laughs> I was like, oh man, it's smoking. <laughs> I legit thought his radiator or something just went. Looks good with the yellow here and the lines and the stuff. Ah, the old fold out mirrors. <laughs> he's losing his mind. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Nick. Let's go. It's getting pretty warm. Got my thermals on, sun's actually quite warm. The air's cold, sun's warm. Sun's warm, the air's cold. Oh my god, Nick. There he goes. Oh, no backpack, no one on the back. It feels dandy. Oh, a little bit of sideways action. I sort of love the stitching on the back. had some damage done. It's a little bit badass. I think I should keep it. What do you reckon? Look at it. Uh, WWKK. Um, I don't know. What is, I don't know. It's a full on proper Warner Brothers number plate with the Tweety. 
So funny. I wonder how he did. I wonder how the previous owner reared that anyway. Do you reckon he full on 180 that bang into a wall doing drift stuff? Because the other side's wiped out as well. I reckon that was a bit of a curb mount maybe. I think it's seen some stuff. And it's uh, 11 years. 11 years old. This, I went and left him alone with his uh, with his new lady friend here, so he could, you know, just just be have a bit of one on one. So now we're reunited. We're back. It's the afternoon. It's sunset. It's a good time to be awake. <laughs> so I took a little wash, gave it some TLC because of how fast things happen with transport. The guy just left at the dealership, didn't even get to clean it. So I was like, all right, it's fine, whatever. But I went in there. I got, I found four dollars. Huh, huh. The car is already spitting out money huh. fantastic other than that just detailed the whole interior washed on the whole exterior to the wheels uh, i'm gonna have my mate from pioneer mobile detailing shout out to abs gonna do a full detail and buff on it nice. um there is some marks the previous owner wasn't the best driver wasn't the best <laughs> like where he was, show shows up. he was he was hitting stuff like he, he got his door oh, is that a oh that's a, oh, that's a buff. no but it's that's the old buff, buff off yeah. yeah but then like these uh. and then the back yeah, so like, you see, it's all like cracked here and stuff. And then he, honestly, but kudos to the blow. He didn't try to hide it. He was like, "Yeah, dude, like I, I hit something. Like, oh, sure. It's my fault. Like I hit a curb. Right. And then that happened. Yeah, this one's a big one. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. In hindsight, thing is, I get a whole new pair for like four hundred bucks, five hundred yeah. bucks. So I was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, same. Uh, but I already looked underneath the car. It's all straight. So I'm happy with that. How do you reckon? How do you reckon this happened? Do you reckon? I, I was like, I reckon he's just done a mad 180 and no, he just backed it into a. I reckon someone's someone's tapped him at a light. Just smacked him. Hundred percent, someone smacked him at a light. Ah, uh, you can see this is the first huge, point yeah. of contact. Yeah, sure. But like, it was just like a tap, and the fiberglass cracked. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you guys a look. That's it from me and Nick. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in next week's vid. Peace. There we go. Oh, shivers. <laughs> shivers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>